G'day, my name is Shaul and I work for Micrographics. We can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this video is just to show you uh, one of the new features of Lumion 11 called animated phasing. Right, um, this allows you to create uh, animation uh, to visualize how a building fits together, for example. Right, now looking at Revit and uh, the particular uh, model that we're going to use um, what I've done is I've just created this uh, a particular uh, 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 very simple uh, model it's got three parts uh, the floor the walls and the roof now I deleted uh, two of the three and saved it as uh, or exported as a uh, DAE file just via the uh, Lumion and then export Right, so creating three files, each are of each of these uh, components: one of the floor, one of the walls, and one of the roof. Right now, uh, to do that, I'll just show you an example. Maybe uh, I want to just create the roof, so I'll just delete the other two uh, uh, elements, and then I just say simply export, and uh, I then give this a name. Right now, that I've done already. So looking at um, I'm just going to cancel here. Um, opening up a new uh, model. I'm just going to use a plain uh, environment. Right, and what we do in now is we say let's import uh, each of those three components. Right, now I've already imported them, so I'm just going to uh, place them from my uh, uh, example. So there's the the floor. Uh, right, so I was going to uh, place the floor as close to the origin as possible. Right, and then I'm going to place the walls in the same manner, and then I'm going to place the roof uh, in the same uh, environment. Alright, okay, so basically I have now uh, created these uh, 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 examples. Right, um, even if the, the roof is a little bit odd, uh, maybe let's just uh, uh, select it and just shift it up horizontally um, to uh, just fit over that uh, model over there. All right, something like that. All right, um, okay, so deselect all. Okay, so now I've got the three components, um, the floor, the walls, and the particular uh, roof. All right, so what I now do is I go to the movie effect. All right, as it's uh, this animated area is a, uh, it's a movie, or effect for a movie, so uh, basically uh, I have it over there. Right, um, I then go and say, right, let's uh, add a keyframe, right, and I'll say finish that particular keyframe. Right, so I'm happy with the keyframe, and uh, uh, what I'll now do is uh, perhaps just going back to the keyframe, I'll just increase the time because we're going to just stand uh, static for a while for a moment, and these objects will be animated. Right, so that done. Uh, I'll go to the effects and within the effects I will go to the animated phasing which is uh, under the featured area it's also um, perhaps under the one of the other uh, categories right so I'll just use the, the animated feature yeah I now need to select uh, the particular uh, object that I want to uh, 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 animate but first let's just edit, edit this particular um, uh, effect. Right, you'll see here's a timeline from 0 till 10 uh, which is the the frame length. Right, you also have a timeline here. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to add three uh, timelines. Right, um, or, or have three items here. One for the floor, one for the uh, walls, and one for the roof. Right, now the floor I'm just going to uh, 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 just uh, there's the the uh, um, the floor so the floor will start uh, at about over here and then the uh, uh, the next one will start there and the next one will start there now uh, I will go and go to the first one and here is lots of settings uh, you do have a duration so as you increase the duration you'll see the 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 duration of this particular uh, um, animation will uh, adjust Right now, what we will 
want to do is for this first uh, piece of animation, there's the start and there's the end, I just want to select an object. So I go to select objects and uh, um, I'm going to just zoom in to this floor and just kind of pick the floor and say OK. So I've got one object uh, selected, I'll say OK. So that's fine. Now for the second one I'll select uh, the walls and uh, click fine and then the third one uh, I'll select and select the roof. Alright, um, so basically that is now all been uh, uh, filed or categorized. Alright, now to just test I'll just click and drag here at the top and uh, you'll see uh, the objects appear as such but perhaps I don't want to have them appear uh, you know just growing uh, or popping in I want to select this first one and say right let's sky drop these uh, and each one I'll just set to sky drop so they will then uh, appear from the top as I move the slider right so there's the uh, uh, shadow and it then appears and then the next one arrives and then the next one arrives okay so that's basically the little timeliner and uh, you obviously can set a lot uh, in here uh, if I just say OK and I play this particular little scene you'll notice um, the animated uh, objects uh, appear as they should and it looks quite nice and uh, let's just uh, leave it at that um, obviously the more uh, time you spend with us the better you can become and the better uh, results you can have all right so thank you for watching hope you um, enjoyed the and learned something about the new feature called the animated phasing effect all right thank you for watching see you in the next one